The more fantastic news, ladies and gentlemen, I know we've been waiting for this announcement. Fart Machine 2 is fully operational now. We took a village. Is it if on you your need, bike? If you need ever any better evidence that it takes a village in this country to do anything. Um, Jody Hamilton, well, I didn't have a... Amazon helped with the tiny screwdriver, which is the only thing you can get this battery thing open with. Uh-huh. Pen knife, mm-hmm. tweezers, yeah. nothing else works. Oh, okay. Yeah. But then I was not able to do it because I didn't have the right attachment. Well, Weird that and, the straight girl, Jody Hamilton, figured out the right attachment yeah. to do. So she got it open, yeah. but then I didn't have a 9-volt battery. So that's where Amazon comes in again because I don't go anywhere because of the COVID still. Uh, anyway, so I was able to. Uh, uh, oh. So this is the very, very good news. Yes, very good news. This is good news this morning. This is going on my bike for when I ride through. How are you attaching it to your bike? Reading areas of California. But still have recall Newsom signs up and things i am going i will be a mommy will be on a bike trip with her friends for her birthday next week bye bye mm-hmm. yeah. on vacation are, are you gonna have that attached to your bike for your birthday i'm sorry i couldn't hear you over fart machine too that's how powerful it is are you gonna have that attached to your bike yes. for your birthday mm-hmm. how are you gonna yeah. attach it to your bike I, zip ties the same things I, I use to zip tie people to their seats on planes <laughs> and here in the studio <laughs> also i don't know if this is uh, the law is going to come after me I did not replace the screw on here. So, screw you. Screw on Fart Machine 2. I don't have children. I did Look, it doesn't fall off. I'm not putting the screw back well, in because this may be another emergency where this battery runs out because I got the cheapy. But my point is, this will never happen what? again. What? Fart Machine 2. And now you're awash in tiny screwdrivers. I Yes. Mary <laughs> Louise, your official fraternity mother uh-huh. in, yep. from Arizona. Yeah. Sent me a, a tiny... I was in the fraternity so now with I have... her son, Nick. Yes. yes. I, and she sent me the Go Water Miller shirt I wore yesterday. Anyway, through you. Uh-huh. And, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, but also now I have two set, tiny screwdriver sets. <laughs> Is it... What have we learned? Don't ask for something on the air. Then you are suddenly, it's an avalanche. They, they will find a way to get it to you. <laughs> Paul Poundstone. I mean... Surprised she didn't show up with a yeah. handful of them. Yeah. It... Okay, and I know everybody... Twitter goes crazy. Everybody loves Paul Poundstone and wants her every day. You can't have no, ice cream for breakfast every day. It's really no. expensive ice cream, that's, and we can't have it every day. It's really rich. For free. Yeah, really rich ice cream. <laughs> but yes, she was hilarious, mm-hmm. as always. It's like eating cream cheese frosting by itself every yeah, day. Yes. You can't do you that. You can't have icing for breakfast no. every day. Lies. Yes, you can. No, you cannot. Oh, well. Okay. Anyway. So what did Glenn Kirshner tell us yesterday that he thinks it's this Weisselberg suit and them saying more indictments are coming that within 24 hours he files the Trump files this stupid lawsuit against Mary yeah. Trump yep. in the New York Times uh-huh. when the article came out in Mary's book came out what a year ago yep. yeah yeah so that has led to a flurry of statements from the office of the 45th president oh, wow he lost he's really losing his... he lost his... last night what this the... is just this is just <laughs> sorry this is just like the <laughs> This is just like the Twitter baby monitor, except now he, I don't know, emails, statements, I don't, but like one after the other to, I, I don't know who, reporters? I, it was like he got out of his burn book and just went through it last night. Oh, when Lindsey Graham? Oh, my God, Lindsey yeah. Graham and Mike Lee. I barely talked to Mike Lee. They, they were friends, but it we're was, not really friends. It is his burn book. This is... <laughs> Unable to tweet, he uh, legal oh legal experts were rid- ridiculing his latest uh, yes his latest ridiculous lawsuit. Mm-hmm. So here they come. Hang on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we need to add that. I was going to talk over it. I'm going to fart over it. Okay. Right. Okay. So uh, is it... Rhino President George W. Bush. How did he get thrown into this? Right. Oh, that speech on 9/11. Oh, and his flunky oh. Carl Rover endorsing warmongering and very low polling Liz Cheney. I'm not going to read all of it. I'll just skip to them. Why is the fake news media continuing on their path of saying baseless and de- disproven lies concerning the presidential election of 2020, <laughs> no matter how much evidence they see? The proof is massive and staggering. The presidential election of 2020 is rigged, and the information becomes public. People will see it wasn't even close. I spent virtually no time, here's the burn book part, when Senators Mike Lee of Utah or Lindsey Graham of South Carolina talking about the 2020 presidential election scam, or is it viewed by many the crime of the century? No. <laughs> Sorry, OJ. No, he didn't say that part, but I, just, I, I mean, You I, know he thought it. 
Lindsay and Mike should be ashamed of themselves for not putting up the fight necessary to win. They should be ashamed of themselves. Why don't they have hearings? Or even if just Republicans had open public sessions, we would hear all the irrefutable facts. Oh I God. hate him so much. Oh, my God. And they're going to present, what, all the things that all his lawyers have already been disbarred for or being sued for? They're going to say those lies, or are they going to say the lies in the 60 lawsuits that were thrown out, some by Trump-appointed judges? And the memo where they said that they knew that and- it was all BS? <laughs> so wait, but right. were they admitted? They knew it was mm-hmm. lies. Right. But he's so he's. They wish they could schedule hearings, but they're not in charge. So we just said, just Republicans, like, so what, card tables yeah. in front of the Capitol? Just yeah. public sessions where they, like, like they lands, what do you call it? Four Seasons. Yeah. Four Seasons lands. Four Seasons is available. Shoe polish running down all their faces yeah. in the... In the... <laughs> is this an insanity defense? And also, they should have a, a bake sale and a car wash to raise money while they're doing hearings. It's, public hearings i'm so glad he didn't release an audio statement and we didn't have the audio of that because i would have thrown something at both of you oh it's I better, when I, it's better <laughs> when i do it but now we have this to do through it in case we do have yes more. god okay can i just say because i you know his fart smell oh like, god really bad. like bald hamburgers and yes ugh, ah, fries and what else does he eat oh, steak with ketchup chocolate, chocolate cake yeah okay Wait, I just, since we're yes. already in an immature mood this morning. Which one now? I sent this to you. This is how old we're both getting. I sent this story to you two days ago, and then you sent it to me yesterday. About when Biden saw Trump's golf toy yep, in the better. White House, and he spent the t- hours, I don't know, pretending he was playing golf inside. Biden just said, what a hole. <laughs> <laughs> what an effing a-hole. Mm-hmm. Come on. That's great. That's my president. That is so my that president. That is my president. That is what I, God bless the United States. <laughs> um, okay. I don't where I see it's God I don't even bless the United States. I don't know if I have your story or my story or oh, where it is. Because there's more. You're right, there's more. Oh yeah. god. It reeked it, of Trumpiness, the it had White House. Details. No, it didn't. It was the exact same story. I'll show it to you. Where is it? For God's sakes. Okay. Anyway. It reeked of Trumpiness. I hope there was there's not enough sage in the world. I don't know what they did. Sage something in the old, in the toys. That's all he did. Play golf outside or inside or pretend to play golf inside. It, it was like fake that movie president. The, fake president playing fake golf. Like that movie, The Toy. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, <laughs> yeah. That was, that was problematic. <laughs> you think? <laughs> On so many levels. Yes, I saw it in the theater. I remember. Oh, I did too. I did. <gasps> oh my God. Um, our friend Harry Lippman tweets as New York, uh, NYU prof, uh, Rick. Uh, I don't know his last name, put it, uh, Eastman Memo, quote, basically argues that any random group of persons in the state can submit a paper to Congress claiming to be the true electors of a state, and the VP can then use that as a basis to throw out the votes of those states. Nauseating. Mm. Yes. And can I just say, Lawrence Tribe, who our friend Muller, she wrote, said, if he said it, Merrick Garland heard it, Mm because... yeah. Lawrence Tribe, you know, advises, obviously, the White House. and But he said the same thing Glenn Kirshner said yesterday, that Jen Rubin said. He said it would be hard to justify DOJ inaction in the face of this rapidly mounting evidence of a criminal conspiracy to, com- to commit sedition against the U.S. government and give aid and comfort to an insurrection. See U.S. 18 U.S.C. something, 230, whatever. You know what I'm saying. Whatever. Yeah. All the whatever legal codes that fancy legal people know. But, <laughs> it's supposed to that's what I, Right. It's stare decisis. Yeah. E That's what I asked Glenn. I'm like, this just seems really illegally. What kind of criming is this? I don't know what the crime is, but it, it's, that's what... It's uh, e pluribus unum. Thank you. Uh-huh. That's what Jen Rubin called it. Is It's a sedition memo. Yes. It is. A, here's how we... I Okay. Nicole Wallace asked Adam Schiff about that yesterday, and he said, yes, we're investigating oh. it. Uh, uh, four. Oh, four. thank you. Oh. oh, no. Wait, which one? Four. four. Oh, four. No. Oh, yes, go ahead. It feels like Adam Kinzinger is saying something when he calls this memo that that Woodward and and Costa report on a blueprint for a coup. Is the select committee investigating a conspiracy to commit a coup? Uh, Yes, and I think Adam is exactly right. Hmm. Oh. Well, I think that... That I'm glad you called me some news yesterday. Do you have other... Drama stings. Yeah, I like that's. I like why you're being back at the big table, not the kids' table, because then I can dramatically go like this. That, that, I can look at both of you. <laughs> oh, see, can you, 
All right, stop it. My neck hurts. I have a big birthday next week. I have my, three my drama stings in there, and you have the fourth. All right, now I've thrown my neck out. Now I need my CBD relief stick. Oh, boy. From CB Distillery. Okay. I had tincture last night. <gasps> you I, did? I, I had tincture this morning. Did you, did, you, did you see that one? Did you say... I didn't... It's not an intervention. I did just send you the story. About <laughs> I know. drinking I, way too much because of COVID. Yeah. Did you see what my... my commentary at the top of that article oh was? i did not did oh, you, you have something oh, oh there's commentary what did you say just screw you i'm not i'm not did you say i am not a drunk <laughs> was it something like did you just quote rudy giuliani <laughs> actually i, I, think, I am not a drunk <laughs> i think i started with you don't know my life well you, po- like, you post all of your drinks on on the instagrams so i'm like oh that's quite the nightly occasion all right it was one it was one margarita he doesn't say does he sound? What pitch does his voice go to when he's defensive? That's really defensive. That's not defensive, is it? It doesn't he need to get no, a little higher. If I was a drunk like Rudy, I would have slurred that. Okay. I have the same three bottles of beer that I moved from Los Angeles to Palm Springs and back to Los Angeles again. I have the same bottle of Fireball in the freezer that I <laughs> the moved guy that owns, from here. The guy to that there owns the show again. Again, Fireball. Are you a 19-year-old sorority girl from 1986? It tastes yummy. Yes. What's your point? It tastes yummy. I like sorority girls from 1987. There, I'm defending you. Thank you. Huh? Yeah, the guy They're that owns old for you, the guy they? that owns the show is trying to kill me for the life insurance money. He's like, okay, do you have wine for the party? I'm like, yes, because I haven't had it in almost two years. There's cases in there of wine that I haven't. No, wine. What? Are... Do you know anything? It ages. That's the point of wine. You're not supposed to. It ages in barrels, doesn't it? It doesn't age in bottles. Yeah, it ages. Ah. I mean, do we even need to do a commercial for the step store? I mean, the shirts are flying off the right. Look at this. Look at it. Look at that. Get your face up. Look, look. We have, and we have them for Team Pfizer, Team J&J. We are all Team Vaccine here. We have amazing. That's right. And you can get it on everything. Right, Chris? Not just shirts. Bath mats, shower curtains. You can get it on art, a clock. You can get Duvet. a selfie bomb on a clock. We have Stephanie Miller swag. We have sexy liberal swag. And, of course, all the, the vaccine shirts. Get it now. StephanieMiller.com. Wee!